Charlie is also up. Girl, what? Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, she angry. She real angry. Yeah, remember you came in our apartment and you were starting all that stuff with us? You don't like it too much now, do you? Now you're getting a taste of your own medicine. Excuse me. Do y'all see these grades? Oh my God. Ain't no way. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome in. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. If you are returning, welcome back, friends. So today I am bringing you the sixth episode to Brooklyn Tales. And as always, I'm going to recommend if you have not seen the previous episode that you go back and watch it before watching this one. So y'all, it is the very next day after Brooklyn went out and hung out with her friends. And sis had a freaking time. Do you hear me? And I love that for her. Because the poor thing has been going through it. She's been struggling a little bit. Even though we went out with our friends last episode, Brooklyn is still feeling a little unsure, a little insecure about her business and whether she's making the right decisions in life. So as y'all know, last episode, Brooklyn was trying to sell her food. She was not as successful as she was previously. So I feel like that's in the back of her head and starting to get to her a little bit. And not only that, this apartment is in shambles and y'all know that. <laughs> Even though we're not suffering from mold right now, eventually at some point it's going to come back, right? Last episode was a reality check for Brooklyn because she got really, really sick from that mold to the point where she almost died, which is crazy. So our good sis, even though she's feeling energized this morning, she's still somewhat sort of feeling a little bit discouraged because she thought she would be a lot further than what she is now. So this morning, we are actually going to have a self-care morning. It's disgusting outside by the way it's raining um we're actually gonna hang out with our aunt dolores because y'all know dolores is a ceo she's very business savvy so maybe she can give us advice maybe she can talk some life into brooklyn and you know motivate her a little bit also this episode we are going to be distributing our food to our neighbors i have not forgot about that it's just that so much was going on this last episode y'all look at charlie our baby was up scooting around because y'all know she knows how to sit up now. So now she be all over the place. Brooklyn, can we come in here and put Charlie in her crib? Because I hate that she's on the floor. She done tired herself out. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and put our little baby to sleep. Oh, what happened? What's wrong? <laughs> Not she summoned us. What's going on, Charlie? Why do you want to be on the floor so bad? Oh my God. She's getting to that age, y'all. She's actually a little bit hungry. So I'm going to have Brooklyn try first baby food with Charlie. It's early in the morning, so maybe we can do oatmeal cereal. And then we can put her back to bed because then we need to head out and meet up with our aunt Dolores. Charlie's like, what you giving me? <laughs> Hopefully she likes it. Do you like it? Okay, so it says, Charlie liked the oatmeal cereal. Successful taste testing. So she's not a picky eater. I'm so happy about that. And we unlocked our first food milestone. Our little baby's growing up, y'all. Look at her making a mess. <laughs> Not Brooklyn think it's funny. Girl, why are you in the middle of the wall? <laughs> oh my God, Charlie, please. The poor baby is falling asleep in the chair. Okay. <laughs> Girl, wake this baby up and put her in the crib. And then we gotta go. <laughs> Look at her sleeping with her eyes open. Charlie, I know you're exhausted, baby. But we gotta put you in the crib. Y'all, look, she's sucking her thumb. I can't. <laughs> Brooklyn, are you gonna put this baby in the crib today? Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
Our baby is in her bed. No! <laughs> Charlie, please! Leave mommy alone! Brooklyn, I swear to God, you touched this baby. Oh my God. <laughs> please. I'm glad our baby is communicating a lot more, but child, if she summon her mama one more time... She just want to be scooting on this floor. <laughs> Charlie, you have to stay in your crib, love. All right. Don't summon mommy. Your grandfather should be here or at least on his way. We are going to go ahead and meet up with our Aunt Dolores. The first stop on our list is the gym. Our girl Brooklyn has put on a little bit of weight and not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, she wants to get into her health bag. So that way she'll feel a lot better in the morning, feel more energetic and not be so tired when she goes to school and when she takes care of Charlie. So let's go ahead and travel. We're going with our aunt Dolores and we can meet her at the gym. All right, y'all, we made it to the gym. Poor Brooklyn is still feeling days from her sporosis. We have about 17 more hours left of this. And look at Aunt Dolores. She looks cute. One thing about Aunt Dolores, she do not play when it comes to her fitness. So let's come up in here and start working out. <laughs> um, So we're going to be at Sky Fitness today. Can we, are there lockers anywhere or a bathroom? We need to change our clothes. All right, Brooklyn, we can come up here and not change into a towel. We want to change our outfit. Um, Let's put this on. All right, let's go ahead, put on our gym outfit. Who's calling us? Your psychic advisor suggests that you plan your meetings very carefully. Oh, look, child, we hanging up. We are hanging up. All right, we got our outfits on. Let's go ahead and start working out. Let's come over here and work out on the treadmill together. See, look y'all, Brooklyn is very much out of shape. We gotta get our fitness skill up there because she's young. Brooklyn has not worked out ever since she had Charlie. So I feel like this is good for her. Dolores, what you doing? <laughs> She's like, I'ma just do these push-ups real quick. I don't really need the treadmill. She is just showing off at this point. All right, Dolores finally decided to get on this treadmill. <laughs> Brooklyn, how we doing, sis? She's struggling over here a little bit, but it's okay. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> All right, she's done with the treadmill. She's about to go do something else. Dolores, please do not fall. Who's calling us? Hey, Brooklyn, it's Amalia. Do you want to hang out tonight? Um, we just went out last night. Two nights in a row? I mean, I feel like if this was Brooklyn pre-Charlie, she would have said yes. <laughs> because our girl was all about partying. But now, partying is something she does once in a while. So I'm going to cancel. And then maybe we can hang out with Amalia on our next stop with Aunt Dolores, which will probably be the spa. All right, y'all. We down here boxing. Brooklyn... <laughs> is hanging on by her thread, as you can see. <laughs> we gotta get her defensive skills up there because people be trying Brooklyn way too much and I need sis to toughen up. So Brooklyn, I'm gonna need you to get started on punching his back, love. Because we gotta learn how to fight. The way that man came up into your house and look, who was calling us again? Do you can, who is this? Why do you keep calling us? Who is this man? Anyways, like I was saying, the way that man came up into your house, try to rob you, but punch you in the crotch when you try to fight him is crazy. We can't let that happen again. <laughs> and look at Dolores. Y'all know sis be doing her thing. She got her game face on and everything. <laughs> Dolores don't be letting people try her like Brooklyn. So she got to teach her niece a little something. All right, y'all, she getting it. She's starting to get it a little bit. That's right, sis. Practice your poker face. Don't let them see you sweat. Let them know you not want to be played with. All right, y'all, I think Brooklyn is a little bit exhausted. <laughs> so I'm gonna have her stop. 
and then we can shower and then head to our next spot let's come over here and let's take a steamy shower and then we can head to the spa all right brooklyn is all showered ready to go on dolores how we doing she is still walking around in this towel <laughs> You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel the same way about me too. That was so sweet. I love Brooklyn and Dolores' relationship. All right, so Dolores is like, this bar just opened up near my house. What do you say we go there? What do you think about that, Brooklyn? Because you need to relax. Brooklyn's like, yeah, that's fine with me. The poor girl is still dazed. I cannot. I can't wait until the sporosis goes away. Y'all have no idea. So let's go ahead and travel to the spa. And obviously we're going to take Dolores with us, but I think we should also take Amalia since she called us and wanted to hang out. Going to a nightclub at 10 o'clock in the morning is crazy. I don't know. Maybe they was having a day party or something, but <laughs> we're going to pass on that and see if she wants to hang out with us at the spa. All right, y'all. We made it to the spa. It looks like Amalia decided to show up. She looks cute. Girl, Dolores. Dolores. Don't play with me right now because you and Brooklyn's mom are going to make me sick. I know you're not pregnant. Oh, maybe she on her period or something because don't scare me like that. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying Amalia looks so cute. I love this little outfit that she has on. I'm happy that Brooklyn is finally hanging out with other people. Can we come over here and talk to Amalia? Let's ask her about her day and also thank her for coming out with us. We know she wanted to go to that little day party, but we just had enough of it. <laughs> Last night was enough for us. Where Dolores went? She went inside. She was not wasting no time. <laughs> so we are going to be here at Da Vinci Spa. It is so nice. And you can imagine it is very luxurious in here. Very much Dolores's style. Where is Dolores? Dolores is all the way downstairs, child. She done changed into her robe. She not playing no game. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're still out here talking to Amalia. Can we go inside? What is this? What are these footprints? Y'all, what is this? My game be tweaking. Why are they leaving footprints? <laughs> My God, I don't have time. Let's come over here and do what Dolores did. Let's change into her robe. This spa is so nice. I love it. If I can remember who created this spa, I'll link it for you guys in the description box down below. Julia is wondering if you want to go over to her house and hang out. Y'all, not our study group friends wanting to hang out all the time. Can we invite Julia to the spa? <laughs> Let's go ahead and summon Julia and she can hang out with us here at the spa. I'm not trying to go to her house. <laughs> All right, since Auntie D is the one who brought us here, I'm going to have Brooklyn ask her for some money so we can get a massage because we only have $400. We are running very low on funds. Let's go ahead and ask this for money and let's see if she'll give it to us. Dolores. Are you going to give us money for a massage? Period. Wait, $72? Hold on. What kind of massage we can get with that? <laughs> Dolores, not you cheap like our father. <laughs> Let's actually come over here and get a hand massage because at least that's cheap. Because $72. Hello? Amalia downstairs swimming in the pool. She can come up here and get a little hand massage too. Actually, she can do a foot massage. And we can have him do it. All right, perfect. Brooklyn, please take this time to relax because girl, it's well overdue. And Amalia is over here getting her little foot massage. It looks like she's enjoying it. Brooklyn, you need to make time to do this more often. 
we're done with our foot massage, our hand massage. We're going to go downstairs and get into the hot tub and relax a little bit. Hopefully it's not packed down here because it was pretty crowded down here when we came down here the first time. And Brooklyn, we need to shave, love, because that's not cute. Oh, after a million years, I finally got all of them in the hot tub together. <laughs> I don't know where Dolores went. She took off somewhere, but at least we in here with our friends. Let's talk to them a little bit. Let's talk about our neighbors, talk about how this crazy man broke into our apartment and literally tried to rob us. Julia's like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> Amalia is over here just relaxing, chilling. Let's also go ahead and complain about our love life and let them know, listen, we are so done with relationships. We're embracing our single lifestyle and we're loving it because the way these people be treating us is real crazy. Brooklyn's like, I'm just focusing on my career right now. Excuse me. <laughs> Amalia, sometimes I don't shower for days. Girl, I would have kept that to myself. <laughs> Why did she tell us that? Sis, that is not cute. <laughs> All right, before we leave this spa, we are in here relaxing in the sauna. After we relax in the sauna, we're going to head over to Barnes & Noble and see if Brooklyn can pick up a baking book. So that way she can build up her baking skill and we can start baking our cookies, our cakes, and distributing our desserts to our neighbors. Look at Dolores. I don't know where she been, <laughs> but now she comes to hang out with us. All right, y'all, we have made it to Barnes & Noble. All the ladies have made it here with us as well. We need to come up in here and get us a baking book because we got to start leveling that skill up. It must be hot out here because, y'all, Dolores is sweating bullets. Look at her. <laughs> All right, we should come up in here and browse through the shelves and see if we can find something that would interest us. Something that can contribute to our business. What you picked up, Brooklyn? I hope it's something that's going to help advance this culinary skill. All right, so Brooklyn is browsing. She's seeing what Barnes & Noble has to offer and seeing if anything here is worth buying. Because anything that's going to contribute to our crafts and building up our business, we definitely want to invest in. So how are we feeling, Brooklyn? Do we feel like we want to purchase this book today? All right, where's Dolores? She over here trying to get some coffee. <laughs> Her and Julia both are over here trying to get some coffee and Julia on the line reading a book. I can't. Y'all already know how I feel about these stupid coffee shops because the baristas, they don't be doing their jobs and it kills me. Julia done gave up. She like, I'm gonna come over here and finish my book. Girl, you sick? Child. Let me go check on Brooklyn. How we doing, sis? Who is this man? And did he just... Did he just take our book? Um, sir, we were reading that. Like, are you kidding me? Why did you take our book away from the table? We was reading that. That was so rude. Yeah, Brooklyn not about to let people play with her no more. <laughs> She's like, you're trash. Because why would you do that? Okay, Brooklyn. All right. All right. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> She's like, I'm not letting nobody mess with me no more. You can't bully me. All right, Brooklyn. Come over here and stop talking crap to this man. We need to buy some books. Amalia is not paying him any mind. She is just too deep into her book. And our good sis needs to eat. How we looking? Y'all, she about to die. <laughs> Let's hurry up and purchase this book. And then we can go find something to eat. So we want a book that's going to build up our skill. So let's see what skills have to offer. 
Oh, perfect. So we have baking volume one, volume two, and volume three. So I'm going to start off slow. We're going to get baking volume one. It's only $75. So we can go ahead and get that. And then hopefully that will help us level up our skill. But y'all, Brooklyn is starving. So we're going to have to find somewhere to eat fast. So let's go ahead and round up Dolores, see if she's good. What is she doing? She's still standing over here trying to get some coffee. Let's call over the group and let them know we're ready to go because we got to eat. <laughs> Amalia, Julia, did y'all buy anything? Are y'all buying these books? It looks like they, they are really enjoying these books. So I'm thinking they're going to buy those books too. <laughs> All right, let's head out to a restaurant. Okay, y'all, I figured we could grab something quick. So we're here at Taco Mama. Um, Let's come in here and let's come and request table. Um, It don't matter who we request it from. Amalia, girl, not you out here doing your homework and sitting on the ground. Are you crazy? <laughs> Child, that homework can wait. All right, let's go to our seats. Amalia is still outside. Is she going to come in and eat? <laughs> All right, perfect. I'm actually going to have Dolores order for the table. Since she is the one that orchestrated this whole entire trip. She is going to have a dry martini. Julia is going to do a Corona. And then we can do strawberry margaritas for both Brooklyn and Amalia. Since Brooklyn is no longer breastfeeding and our baby is now eating soft foods, she doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Um, so for food, we eat tacos. Are they selling weed tacos at the, the taco spot? <laughs> Let's all get some beef tacos. And I feel like Aunt Dolores would probably do like cauliflower chickpea tacos because she is one of those that like to watch her figure. So let's go ahead and place that order. Y'all, I think it's so cute how Brooklyn is hanging out with her university friends and with her auntie. She definitely need good people around her. So that way it'll keep her positive and in good spirits. Look at her. She's in a good mood. I love this for her. Love that we can do a pick me up for our good sis because she deserves it. She's been having a rough time. Let's talk to our auntie Dolores and express admiration for her. Brooklyn's like, thank you for doing this, Aunt Dolores. If it wasn't for you, I really wouldn't know how to manage my stress. Child, it's Julia at the table doing her homework for me. <laughs> Amalia and Julia do not play when it comes to school. Maybe we can talk about school a little bit to them. Let's have a deep conversation. Brooklyn's like, I'm so happy I found a good group of friends to study with because last semester really kicked my behind. <laughs> Amalia's like, that's exactly what we're here for, to hold each other accountable. Meanwhile, Dolores is over here giving a little speech about burnout and how sometimes you need to take a step back to be your best self. Sometimes taking a break is good and Brooklyn needs to learn that. All right, y'all. It looks like our food is here and this food looks so good. Hold on. Let's take a closer look. Y'all, look at this food. Look at this strawberry margarita. That looks so good. Let's go ahead and eat our food. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Dolores, where are you going? What you taking notes on? <laughs> Child, I don't know where Dolores thought she was going. Girl, if you don't finish this meal. <laughs> and eat these tacos. Dolores. Dolores said, I'm going to let Brooklyn hang out with her little friends. And I'm going to just come over here and finish my little meal. Okay, Dolores. I guess that's fine. <laughs> All right. Did we finish? We still got to drink our drink. Brooklyn, hurry up and drink this. And then we can head home to our baby. Start to build up this baking skill. And then start to bake something. 
Brooklyn's like, thank y'all for coming out today. I really, really needed this. So I really appreciate y'all. Julie's like, yeah, girl, we got you. Anytime you need a pick me up, just call us and let us know. Because we know what it feels like when you're going through burnout. How we finish eating and Brooklyn gotta go to the bathroom real bad. Do they even have a bathroom in here? I feel like they should. Yeah, they do. Um, she in here washing dishes. Brooklyn, come use the bathroom and then we can go ahead and head home. Y'all. Ain't this the man that was following us around the club last episode? <laughs> What's his name? Jonathan? I think that's him. <laughs> Real interesting. All right, Brooklyn, let's go ahead and head home. All right, y'all, we have made it home. Child, who is this man? He must have just moved into our building. <laughs> I actually think this is one of Aunt Dolores' friends. Anyways, we have quite a bit to do. Tonight, before we go to sleep, where's our baby? She's in here chilling in her room. I wish this TV worked so we can turn on some cartoons for her, but it doesn't. It's just decor. Um, so Brooklyn, first things first, we want to start making cookies for our neighbors. Why is he just standing here? <laughs> so can we go inside and start reading our baking book? Charlie, how we doing, baby? All right, so she's doing pretty good. Maybe I'll have her scoot out here to greet her mom. Charlie, you can come and scoot here because you haven't seen your mom all day. She's been hanging out with Auntie D. Look at her, y'all. <laughs> y'all, this little scoot is so cute. I can't. Child, is she stuck? Charlie, you still come in love? <laughs> She on her way. She's just a little slow, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, Brooklyn, how the skill looking? All right, so she's almost at level two. Perfect. I think once we hit level two, we should be able to make something. All right, Charlie finally made her way around the corner. <laughs> I'm going to have her come over here and wave at Brooklyn. Oh, that's so freaking cute. Y'all, our little baby is growing up. Look at her sucking her thumb. I can't. Okay, Brooklyn. After we get to level two, I'm going to have you start baking some cookies. All right. Finally, we have made it to level two baking. We can put this book down now. So we can start baking stuff, building up our skill that way too. All right, before we start baking, can we like give our little baby a kiss? Let's give her a little kiss. And then we can get started on work. Aww. All right, let's put this baby down and we gotta get to work. Charlie, what's wrong? Child, not, not she got crocodile tears. <laughs> let's go to our cookbook. Let's see what we can make. Ooh, mini blueberry cheesecakes. That sounds good. But do we wanna make that? Let me check the other cookbook and see what we can make. Um, Baking. Okay, perfect. We can make cookies with sugar cookies for Halloween. Halloween is over. <laughs> Gingerbread cookies are $55. That's expensive. All right. I think we're going to do the blueberry cheesecakes because that wasn't as much. Yeah, it's $31. So let's come over here and make the mini blueberry cheesecakes. And then that will be for our neighbors. We're going to give it to them free of charge just so they can taste the different things that we have to offer. And y'all, we also have to do our homework. Like, I completely forgot we are still going to university. <laughs> Hopefully we can get that done before we have to go to sleep because I think we have class tomorrow, actually. 
Charlie, how we doing, baby? I need to get her some toys. Do we have any toys in here? Child, she ain't got no toys. Let me get her a little teddy bear or something so she won't be bored over here. All right, I got her a little baby doll so she can come over here and play with that. I also got her some little blocks so we can start building up those other skills as well. Charlie, do you like it? Child, this doll looks scary. <laughs> Listen, as long as my baby is happy, that's all that matters. But child, this doll would have scared me if I was Charlie. All right, Brooklyn, how we doing on these cheesecakes, girl? Did you finish? Hello? Where'd you put it? <laughs> Hold on. Brooklyn, don't play with me. Did you not make the cheesecake? Girl. Not nah, I gotta watch you like you a baby. The baby is in the living room. <laughs> We just wasted money, girl. What? Child, I don't know what she did with it. Charlie unlocks another milestone, y'all. Pentagrass. Little fingers can be hard to use, but for the first time, Charlie managed to take hold of her first object. Yes. So we can probably try finger foods. Like she doesn't have to keep eating the little purees. Charlie, I'm so proud of you, sis. You're so smart. All right, let me watch Brooklyn because, girl, I don't know what you did with the mini cheesecakes, but can you resume this? Like, what we doing? Child, she's like, I don't know about this bacon thing. <laughs> A little hard. A little harder than I thought. <laughs> And our neighbors are over there making a lot of noise. I don't want to have to go bang on their door, but once we finish this little cheesecake thing, we got to work on our homework, so they're going to have to keep it down. What's going on, Charlie? <laughs> she over here talking to the doll. I love that. But she is sleepy and she's about to be hungry. Who is that child? Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Are we almost done? Perfect. We are finally done. Oh, did she put it in the fridge? Chow. Maybe she put the first batch in the fridge. I should have checked. Let me see. Yeah, she definitely did. <laughs> So that was my bad. Whatever, we can just sell the extra ones. It's getting kind of late. We need to feed Charlie and we also need to put her to bed and then we have to work on our homework and then we have to go to sleep. So I am going to try to give finger foods to Charlie. Let's see if she likes it. Let's do some yogurt melt and see how she likes it. All right, Charlie, mama, we got to feed you, love. Playtime is over, but you can play with your doll tomorrow. Charlie's like, what is this? <laughs> How exciting. Charlie loved the yogurt melt. It's always nice to discover a new favorite taste and texture. Okay, Charlie, look at her feeding herself. Yes. I wish Brooklyn can do like a little applause and clap for her. Give her some positive reinforcement. All right, let's finish up, love, so we can put you to bed. Because mommy got to do some work. Are they still over here making noise? They are. Child, Charlie not going to be able to go to sleep. We're going to have to knock on their door. But I'm so happy she loves it. All right, sis. All right. All right. All right. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yes, let's put her to bed. And let's see. Did the neighbors stop? No, they didn't. 
I don't know if she's gonna be able to go to sleep. Not how dare you put me down. Charlie, please. All right, she's trying to go night night, but our neighbors, they gotta keep it down. Let's go ahead and, can we knock on this door? Why we can't knock on the door? Y'all, we literally cannot knock on the door. Like what's going on? Am I being extra if I have her break in? I feel like I am. That's not Brooklyn's personality type. I ain't gonna do it. Um, hopefully Charlie can go to sleep. We need to start on our homework. So we have both of our classes tomorrow. So I mean, at this point we gotta do homework for both of them. So let's go ahead and get started on that. And then we can go to sleep. All right, y'all, Brooklyn is pulling yet another all nighter. It is basically midnight. Charlie was able to fall asleep despite our neighbors making all that commotion over there. So I'm happy that, you know, she was able to finally get to sleep and we didn't have to make another enemy. <laughs> but hopefully Brooklyn can get this homework done and we will be prepared for class tomorrow. All right, so let me chit chat with you guys while Brooklyn is doing her homework. Sis, why are you still scratching? Now she still got sporosis, hello? When does it pass? It's supposed to be gone already, no? We got two more hours. And are you hungover? She's sobering up. Oh yeah, I forgot she had a margarita at the taco place. Anyways, while she's doing her homework, let's chit chat for a little bit. Reading the comments from last episode, you guys said that you think Brooklyn should continue to grind out until she graduates. So we are not gonna take a semester off. We are just gonna finish it out. I think we have like five more classes to take. So hopefully it don't drag out and we can get this done and Brooklyn can focus on building up her career. But I have to say she has come a long way and I'm so proud of her because y'all, Brooklyn was out here buck wilding when she first got to see my shoe, no? <laughs> All right, let me check on Charlie. She's sleeping. She's rolling over, tumbling in her sleep. That is just the cutest thing. <laughs> All right, we have finished our homework. I'm going to have Brooklyn come in here and try to get some sleep before we have to go to class. So Brooklyn love, let's go ahead and retire for the night. And then I will see you guys the next same day. Wait, what? Dolores has sent Brooklyn a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail soon. I wonder what she got us, y'all. What? What y'all think the gift is? I'm so curious now. Not our auntie sending us gifts. Child, I hope it's something good. <laughs> All right, y'all. It is the next day. Brooklyn is up early, about to make breakfast. She's going to make some French toast, eggs and bacon. She want to have a good breakfast this morning because she's feeling real energized. And she's hoping to maintain, girl, what's thing? We got to clean this counter. <laughs> she's hoping to maintain this positive attitude throughout the whole day because today she will be having her two classes. Charlie is also up. Girl, what? Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh no, Charlie, please. Why are you over here playing in the drawer? I can already see what kind of toddler she about to be, y'all. She gonna drive me crazy. She gonna drive me so crazy. And her mama in here cooking. Ain't nobody in here to discipline this little baby. <laughs> Brooklyn, that looks so good. Child, I'm so hungry right now. I probably should have ate breakfast before I turned this game on this morning. <laughs> Go ahead, let's eat that. And then we gonna have to discipline our little baby cause she over there getting into trouble. We gotta nip that in the bud right now before it gets out of control. <laughs> Did she stop? Y'all, she's still going. She is still going. Like, I'm so happy that she's able to move around, be mobile, and be a little bit independent. But the poor baby is getting into everything. Putting remotes in her mouth. Like, come on. Also, our first class is not until 1.30. So we can spend time with Charlie this morning and maybe try to get her crawling. Charlie, stop that. 
can we like discipline her a little bit is she too young for disciplining i don't see the parenting menu come talk to her give her a little talking to tell her it's not okay to put remotes in her mouth because <laughs> the baby is a terror already Charlie, put that down. Oh, she done made a mess. Charlie, that's not nice. You're not supposed to play in adult things. Don't do that again, okay? Oh, she did not like that talking too. Charlie, don't be like that, love. You're creating more work for mommy. Now she has to clean up. Oh my God. She already starting to give us attitude, y'all. <laughs> Not Charlie, a little sassy little thing. I can't. <laughs> oh, we gotta come in here and clean this up too. And Charlie about to go scoot in the living room to get her baby doll. But we need to practice standing with her. Can we like do that? Are we able to right now? Yes, we can. All right, Brooklyn, after you clean that up, we need to practice standing with Charlie. Child, I know I'm probably going to regret it because the girl is already causing havoc, but <laughs> we got to age her up at some point. Oh, oh, she liked it. Let's also try to do a little bit more tummy time with her. Charlie, please. Who is in the hallway? Who is this? Terrence? Is he our neighbor? Y'all, we might have to get to know Terrence a little bit. Charlie, you got this, baby. You already know how to roll over and hold your head up. She's like, I don't want to do this. I just want to play with my doll. <laughs> Y'all, the mail is here. Do you think our gift is in the mailbox? Brooklyn, come check this mail. Because I want to see what Aunt Dolores got us. Can we go see? You can come back to this little game. Child, not they deliver bills and we can't pay them? What? Oh, I'm sick. Our bills just came. They're $622, but we only have $341. Oh my God. What are we gonna do? All right, we got everything out the mailbox. Is our gift in here? Let's see. She gave us a crystal? What does the crystal do? It says, energizing decor. When sighted into the celestial crystal crown, this crystal doubles the chance of finding crystals in the world and recharges the bladder need. What? Not Aunt Dolores is into crystals and whatnot. I did not know that. I guess she knew that Brooklyn was feeling down and she gave her something to help her out a little bit. But I don't know if that's like Brooklyn's thing. I don't know if she's into crystals. But we got to figure out a way to pay these bills right now. Um, it's 1026. I'm debating on whether we should go outside and start selling stuff or if we should ask our parents for money or maybe we'll do both. <laughs> maybe we will do both. Can we call up? Not our dad. We know our dad is cheap. Let's call our mom and see if she can come over. Y'all, Charlie knows how to clap now. I know, that's right. <laughs> All right, let's see if our mom can come over and give us money because we got to pay these bills. All right, so she's coming over. Hopefully, she can give us a little something that'll help us out. But other than that, we got to get to grinding. Our mom is about to pop soon. Look at her. Come in, sis. You got a key. <laughs> All right, first, before we ask her for money, we need to at least give her a kiss and thank her for coming over all 
Like, thank you, mom. Thank you for coming over. She's like, girl, you look good to be in your second trimester. <laughs> Can we ask the Phil baby? I wonder what she's having. Aw. At least Charlie's gonna have a little playmate soon. I love that. Um, what just happened? Charlie! Wait, why are you filthy? Did she just tinkle on herself? Oh my god. <laughs> Girl, please change this diaper and we gotta... Oh my god, we're broke. We gotta renovate this bathroom so we can bathe our baby. Because what? Clean her up. This is crazy. What's up, Julia? Hey, Brooklyn. I think I have a crush on Knox Greenberg. Ill? <laughs> Knox Greenberg. Do you think it's worth a try? Um, yeah, girl, go for it. He's not particularly my type, but if that's what you into. Wait a second. Is this mold? Why is it growing in the wall? I, how are we supposed to get there? Oh my God. Is it because Charlie peed over here? I think it is. All right. I'm going to have to just destroy this. Because there's no way Brooklyn is getting to that. She's not getting to that at all. Let's go ahead and put her down. She can come over here and play with her little doll. Actually... She can play with blocks. And then we can come over here and ask our mom for money before she leaves. So let's ask, can I have some money? And hopefully she gives us a good amount so we can pay these bills. Why is this man in the hallway with a skirt on? Child, let me mind my business. <laughs> All right, she gave us $275. It's still not enough to pay the bills, but I guess we're just going to have to grind for the rest. Let me see. Is there anything we can sell in our inventory? Because we need money bad. So I guess we can sell this little upgrade part. Um, We can sell Brooklyn's bong because she doesn't smoke anymore. So we can get rid of that. Um, So that puts us at 734. So we do have enough now to pay our bills. What is this? This is our vacuum cleaner. We need that. And I'm not going to sell the crystal that Aunt Dolores gave us because it, it was a gift. And that would be really tacky. To Why is this so big? Mm -mm. Keep it in your inventory. <laughs> that would be really tacky for us to sell that thing. Especially after we just got it. So we're going to keep it. Dolores wants to come over and hang out. Okay, that's fine. It's the way sis just knocked out on this floor. Oh! Oh my god. You cannot be serious. You can't. We just got rid of molds and we're gonna get molds again. Oh my god. We're gonna have to call our dad over to repair that. All right, y'all. Brooklyn is off to class. And while she's off to class, our mom is in here cleaning. Thank you, mom. Because we need the help. <laughs> our mom is a freaking superhero. I love her. Pregnant and all, she's up in here cleaning this apartment. I don't know what we would do without her. All right, y'all. Brooklyn is home from school. She had her two classes already. Y'all. She had her two classes already. <laughs> and now she's out here trying to sell her food because we are desperate. We need the money and we're in our usual spot because we've had guaranteed sales here. So hopefully we have a better time than we did last time. Our aunt Dolores, our mom and our dad. It looks like Dolores is leaving now, but they are upstairs with Charlie. So our baby is good. So Brooklyn can come down here and focus on making some sales. Um. We're going to actually mark these down a little bit. We're going to do 25%. Last time we had it at 50%. So hopefully we have better luck this time. And we also got to compete with these two food carts over here. So 
Child, this is such a city thing. It reminds me so much of New York. Everyone is trying to make a buck. Like, look at this. We have a mime over here. We have this man playing his guitar over here. We have the food stands over here. <laughs> Everybody is just hustling. Lily, what's C, sis? Are you trying to buy something? Let's try to give her a sales pitch. And let's also try to give Aunt Dolores' friend a sales pitch. I'm so mad at this outfit, but child, don't even get me started. Oh, Lily, blessings. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you like it though? That's the real question. All right, so we're attracting more attention. More people are starting to come up to us. Um, can we also be a little bit friendly with our customers? Because we want to build rapport with them. We want them to like us. Let's also do a friendly introduction to Lily. And let's give this man a sales pitch. Child, look, this man is back again. I think he following us. <laughs> let's give him a sales pitch. He bought our rice and peas last time, so hopefully he's back for something else. We love to see a returning customer. Brooklyn has learned the following traits about Willie. He's a rapper. What? <laughs> Who who bought something for $125? Was it him? Can we ask, what's his name again? I never remember his name. Jonathan, if he's looking for a personal chef, because he is a returning customer. Let's ask about being hired as a personal chef and see what he says. Is that a yes? Is that a no? Like, do you need someone to cook for you? Child, I don't know what he said, but we are making some money. <laughs> Look at us coming up. She's also a returning customer as well. She is the glutton that be eating her food all types of crazy. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. I can't. <laughs> all right, sir. Do you want something else? Is that why you're still here? Did Lily buy something else? She been here for a minute. Look at Brooklyn, I'm so proud of her. She really made her rent money and more. <laughs> All right, let's see how these buffs are looking. Hair on fleek, girl, please. Her hair is on fleek though, I ain't gonna lie, but Brooklyn. <laughs> Deep connection, building strong relationships with others is a cause for happiness. Home sweet home. Satisfied customer. Brooklyn Mills seem to be making everyone's day. Yes, we love to hear it. All right, perfect. Our food sale is complete. We have made $685. So I would say that's successful. It's better than what we made last time. Last time, I don't even think we made over $100. Brooklyn, where are you going? I know you're not about to leave this stand here. Let's go ahead and clear our table. And we need to put this in our inventory and then we need to go check on our baby. Thank you for your business, but we gotta go. <laughs> All right, let's head upstairs to check on our baby. Brooklyn, not you eating French toast at this hour. It's 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Brooklyn, eat your French toast and then we can go ahead and pay these bills. Oh, because that was close. All right, we still got 797 left. Let's go ahead and put our food back into the refrigerator so it doesn't spoil. And then tomorrow we can make our way to our neighbor's house and start distributing our stuff. And then maybe asking them if they're looking for a personal chef and offer our services to them. Child, what is it with us having noisy neighbors? I feel like Brooklyn would knock politely. Let's go ahead and knock politely because remember, we still want these people to like us, but they also have to respect us being next door to them. Child, that baby knock. Did they hear us? <laughs> Did they hear us? Child, not this man in this skirt. Come on. <laughs> oh! Sir, don't do that. You was making all that noise and now you want to cuss us out for knocking on your door? Please. 
hey i live here too i'm sorry your life is boring maybe you should go to the lounge and have some fun on your own oh he's nasty willy like i really want to come over here and argue with him because why are you so mean <laughs> Brooklyn, put this baby down. And he out here dancing like he don't have a care in the world. We were supposed to be nice to our neighbors, but child, they really be trying it. And remember, Brooklyn not letting nobody bully her no more. <laughs> not really saying he don't like us. She's like, that's fine. The feeling is mutual. I don't like you either. But like, you gonna respect me though. That's what I do now. Let's go here. And we gonna lock this door because I don't trust none of these neighbors. I don't trust not a one. Y'all, I am so over these neighbors. It's not even funny. Brooklyn, where you going? I need you to come over here and we're gonna separate these cheesecakes. At this point, I don't even know if we should continue to try to pursue business with these people in this building because girl, they got us messed up. <laughs> We're gonna come over here and basically separate these cheesecakes so we'll have them ready to go when we hand these out tomorrow to our neighbors. Okay, perfect, let's clean this up. And then we can head to bed and reconvene tomorrow. It's like, I'm really second guessing whether we should be going to our neighbor's apartments tomorrow to distribute our food because they really be trying us, but we gonna stick to the plan. All right, let, hold, hold on. Excuse me. He did not just come up in our house. Brooklyn, you not about to sit next to this man and do homework, no. Yell at him, because why they be coming up in our house like that? I thought I locked the door. <laughs> What's going on? Soon a you can't eat a meal. Child, it is the way these neighbors just don't care. I know this is Aunt Dolores' friend and all, but he really has to respect us because what are you doing walking up in our house after you just cussed us out? Brooklyn, stop being nice to him. Insult him right now. <laughs> and we do not care if you tell our aunt, like, don't come up in our house like that. Like, can we send him home? Because he really got some nerve. Tell him to go away. Don't come in our house disrespecting us. Get out. Get out right now. Brooklyn dislikes hardworking Sims. Um, I would not say that. Just because he's hardworking and we don't like him don't mean we don't like hardworking Sims in general. Don't be coming up in our house. I thought I locked this door. He coming back? Oh, he don't respect us, y'all. He do not respect us. <laughs> Brooklyn, come back here. We got to ask him what his problem is. Why does he keep walking back up in our apartment? If you don't like us, get out of our apartment. Like, ASAP. Yeah, what's your problem? He said, hey, this drama isn't my fault. At least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happened between us. Oh, absolutely you are. You're entitled to it, but don't come up in my house. Like, what are you not getting? <laughs> All right, but seriously, Willie, you have to go. Leave. Y'all, we might have to skip his apartment tomorrow when we hand out our food because Willie just be doing too much. Doing way too much. And we're going to have to have a little chit chat with Aunt Dolores about her friend. I hate that we're making enemies at this stage, but like, come on now. Brooklyn, again, like I said, is not gonna let anybody bully her no more. Get out. All right, it is early in the morning. Brooklyn is out here getting her jog in. She is getting more and more serious about her fitness and I love that for her. She's also out here on this jog because, you know, she's a little nervous since today is the day she is going to be handing out her food to her neighbors. Also, Charlie is not upstairs by herself. I don't want y'all to think we just neglected our poor baby. <laughs> our parents came over early this morning because they knew that we wanted to, you know, do some things today. 
new personality trait. Brooklyn has been really active lately and loves it. Being in motion is starting to feel like a core part of her. Embrace the change? Absolutely, we're gonna embrace this change. This is a very positive thing. I love that for you, Brooklyn. She is discovering new things about herself, about her womanhood. So Brooklyn is all finished with her jog. She's back in her apartment. Let's come over here and take a shower before we even decide to go to our neighbor's apartment because we are sweaty, we are funky. We gotta make sure we are smelling good when we go over there because we wanna make a good impression. All right, let me come over here and grab our cheesecakes. All right, perfect. So we have seven in total. That should be enough. I hope it is. Um, so let's go ahead and start visiting these apartments. So I think we should skip Willie's apartment because we clearly got some animosity going on between us and it's very fresh, very new. So we're going to have to wait until it blows over to even think about networking with him. Um, so we're going to go to the next apartment over. So we're going to go by ourselves and hopefully our parents are still OK with watching Charlie. All right, Brooklyn, go ahead and let's knock on this door and hopefully someone is home. All right, perfect. It looked like someone is home and y'all. Oh, uh, it is the two people we do not care for. <laughs> it's Nina and it's also Dahlia. I mean, we really technically don't have a problem with Nina because our real problem is with Penny. But Dahlia? Child, look at, look at the friendship bar. It is like completely red. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully this goes well and we can put our differences aside. Cause it's crazy how Brooklyn got all these enemies and she's such a sweetheart. Not in Salt Home. Girl, what? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Backhanded compliment. Brooklyn, why you wanna be so shady to this girl? We barely even know her. <laughs> Let's first have some small talk. And let's get to know her a little bit. Let's formally introduce ourselves because we really don't know Nina. Brooklyn's like, hi, my name is Brooklyn. I know your name is Nina, but I just wanted to formally introduce myself to you. Brooklyn has learned the following traits about Nina. She's non-committal. <laughs> Definitely not surprised about that one. All right, so let's discuss interests. Let her know that we are into cooking and we are starting a business. Brooklyn's like, I am the owner of the food stand Brooklyn's Cuisine. I sell food all around San Maishuno, and I just wanted to stop by and give you guys a little sample. Nina's like, yeah, I've seen you around selling your food and stuff. I haven't really had the time to stop by and buy something, but I'm interested in trying your sample. All right, so the conversation with Nina actually went well, and I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> um, So can we like go ahead? Brooklyn, I know you did not just pull out this homework. You are not serious right now. Let's go ahead and give Nina a gift. We're gonna give her a friendly gift and we are going to give her one of these cheesecakes we have in our inventory. Okay y'all, so she likes it. What? It says, it's been wonderful to spend time with you. We made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. Now we got sentiments with Nina, but no lie. She's actually kind of cool. Remember, our problem is really not with her. It's with Penny. Girl, calm down. <laughs> calm down. No flirting. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. This is going to be the tough cookie to crack. I already know it because we already don't like the girl. Look, look at them. They're just growling at each other. Like Dahlia girl, look. Oh, oh, up, excuse me. Dahlia and Brooklyn now despise each other. I thought we already despised each other. Brooklyn, put this homework away. Let's give her a little backhanded compliment because she is just too much. We gonna throw a little shade at her because I'm sick of her mess. Oh, 
Oh, she angry. She real angry. Yeah, remember you came in our apartment and you was starting all that stuff with us? You don't like it too much now, do you? Now you getting a taste of your own medicine. Meanwhile, Nina over here on the computer, <laughs> not even paying no mind to them. And I love how we got her so rattled. She's angry. Meanwhile, Brooklyn is still happy. She is on her high horse. She is not letting her get the best of her. Brooklyn's like, listen, sis. I don't know what your issue is. I didn't really come over here to argue with you. I just came over here to give you a little mini blueberry cheesecake to get your thoughts on it. That's all. Nothing more. Let's see. I wonder if she gonna like it. Oh, <laughs> she said, uh-uh. I'm not eating that cheesecake. You probably trying to poison me, sis. Brooklyn's like, girl, what is your problem? Why are you so bitter? Throw more shade at her. Like, it's cool. I really don't need your business anyway. I was just trying to be nice, but you want to be a bitch to me? That's fine. We don't got to be cool. Meanwhile, she is sitting here eating the cheesecake. Y'all, Dahlia is a mess. She's like, I don't like you, but I'm going to still eat your cheesecake, though. <laughs> All right, y'all. Nina is eating the cheesecake. Hopefully, she likes it. All right, y'all. I think it's safe to say that she likes it. Period. All right. I think we are done here. Let's head over to our next neighbor's house. Look at Dahlia. Giving herself a pep talk in the mirror. Girl, please. Because if you really wanted to fight, you should have did something. Let's go ahead and head to the next neighbor's house. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and knock on the door. And hopefully somebody is home. It looks like they are. Um, Oh, not they got a dog. He's cute, though. Can we come and pet him? Let's do a friendly introduction. Look at him. He's playful, too. Um, Hello. Julia's calling us. What's going on, Julia? Guess what? My date with Knox Greenberg went well. Congratulations, sis. Love that for you. Hopefully he's friendly. We don't need no dog biting us. <laughs> Aww. We just became acquaintances with... What's his name? Rocky? How cute. All right, let's come over here and introduce ourselves to our neighbor. Let's do a howdy introduction. This is actually Aunt Dolores' friend too. Not all her friends live in our building. Brooklyn's like, hi, my name is Brooklyn. Nice to meet you, Gita. Let's have small talk with Gita. Let's ask her about her day. Um, and also let her know that we saw you at Aunt Dolores' party. Gita's like, oh yeah, I remember you. You made some really good food. She's like, I had no idea you lived in this building. Brooklyn's like, yeah, I've been here for over a year now. I really wanted to come over here and give you a sample of some of the new things I'm going to be making just to get your opinion on it. All right, let's go ahead and give Gita a little sample of our business and hopefully she likes it. So let's go ahead and give gifts and we are going to give her one of the cheesecakes. Let's go ahead, give her that little sample. Because we need the business, honey. Okay, so she likes it. All right, so Gita... Excuse me. Do y'all see these grades? Oh my God. Hey, no way. First of all, how... Oh my God. I have so many questions. The term is not even over. I am so confused. How do we get a C minus and a D plus and we only have one class? The semester wasn't supposed to be over until the end of the week. It's only Tuesday. Child, I think it's because I made the days longer using MC Command Center. <laughs> Y'all, now we on probation. Is that a joke? How did we... <laughs> Oh, 
I'll deal with this later. I can't. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Anyways, like I was saying, Gita lives with her son. Um, Can we come over here and do a friendly introduction to him? Because we don't know him. And truthfully, these are the only neighbors that have not caused us any trouble. But hopefully they're nice people and we can become good friends. Brooklyn, not you sitting on his bed. Hello? <laughs> All right, can we have small talk with Terrence? I think it's real crazy that we in here sitting on this man bed, but I mean, if y'all want to chat here, fine by me. Let's ask him about his day. Why he got up? <laughs> Let's gossip about neighbors a little bit because I'm curious to know if Terrence has the same experiences we have with these crazy neighbors. Can we also get to know him a little bit? Let's ask him about his career. Brooklyn has learned that Terrence is a pastry chef at Make a Dish. So he's into cooking too. That's crazy. We found someone who's into the same things we are. Maybe we can be real good friends with Terrence. Let's talk about cooking. Brooklyn has learned the following traits about Terrence. He's a foodie. Look at him talking about wine. Y'all, this conversation is going so well. Let's go ahead and give him a sample of our stuff for our business. I can definitely see a friendship budding out of this. I love that he's a foodie. I feel like he's going to give us an honest opinion on our food. And it's good to have a friend that we can exchange ideas with. Hopefully you like it, Terrence. And please be honest. Okay, so he likes it. Look at him coming up with ideas. I love this. Y'all, I love where this little friendship is heading. And it looks like Terrence is feeling very inspired by this conversation that he's having with Brooklyn. So at least one of our neighbors is not crazy. We have someone we can talk to and vent to if we need to and also talk about business stuff as well. And I love this for Brooklyn. Look at her talking about food. She found someone just like her. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and let Brooklyn talk to her little friend and I'm going to end this part right here. This episode was a little bit calmer than the other episodes, which I'm happy about because this is supposed to be the calm LP. But I ain't gonna lie, I am not happy about Brooklyn's grades. <laughs> like, what we gonna do about school? Because that's crazy. I don't know. In the beginning, I said that we were gonna grind this thing out and finish school to the end. But I'm thinking maybe Brooklyn does need to take a semester off. If we do end up taking the semester off for real, um, I'm just gonna have her work and try to build up her money. And then also try to renovate our apartment. Next episode, we will more than likely be aging up our little baby and I am not ready. <laughs> but she has been breezing through her milestone, so I think it's about time. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think we should do about school. Obviously, we didn't enroll in another term, so if we do re-enroll, we have to reapply for scholarships again. Which is not a problem to me because, I mean, we are still low income and we should still be able to apply for the same scholarship that we had before. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.